Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing a long waited video that a lot of people have been asking me to do. Um, and it's my skincare routine and it's an updated skincare routine. Um, so I never actually did one before on YouTube because I was not happy with how aware my skin was actually at. Um, quick backstory. Um, I moved to Michigan in 2019 and I don't know if it was the weather change or the water. I don't know what it was, but my skin decided to go for a loop. Okay. And it started to look like this. Okay. Um, so I'm very proud of how my skin looks today. Um, I will say quick disclaimer that it's not where I, I would like for it to be just yet. But I am so happy that it's not where it used to be, okay? Um, I still have uh, breakouts here and there, but only during that time of the month. Currently, it is that time of the month, so I do have an active breakout. And it's literally just right here. This one right here. I still do have textured skin and uh, scarring. Like, so the spotting you see aren't bumps they're literally just scarring so i'm working on that but i'm going to show you guys what has been helping because these scarring and my texture skin actually have been getting better they're way better than what they used to be and i can thank that all to this duval radiant spin care system and this is the sponsorship of the video today um, and I would just like to throw it out there that yes, I have been using it and yes, I have been seeing a difference. So if you want to know how to get rid of your textured skin, help clean the pores out, try to reduce the appearance of pores and stuff like that, then just stay tuned so I can explain a little bit more about this radiance system. So the spinning motion of the brushes, um, help remove uh excess dirt um oil and makeup from your face more effectively than just using soap and water so this one this attachment right here is the gentle brush so it's super 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 soft um you would use this like on the daily basis like pretty much every day um without like disrupting your skin or making it irritated because the bristles are very soft so you would use this literally just to cleanse your face it's just a, a cleansing brush you put your soaps on you know your face wash or whatever and use it to clean your face and it helps clean the pores remove the dirt and makeup and whatever else you have on your face Next is the exfoliating brush. So this is the exfoliating brush. Mind you, these are all interchangeable, so I'll put the exfoliating brush on here. So the exfoliating brush is still very soft. Um, it's just a little bit more textured than the gentle cleansing brush, and it is because it's supposed to exfoliate your skin, remove all those dead skin cells, uh, get a deep cleansing um, within your pores and all of that. So this brush really helps eliminate the appearance of pores and textured skin. So it's one of my favorite brushes, obviously. Um, and then it comes with a body brush. And this body brush you use um, on your full body. So this brush is intended to be used in the shower. I normally do use this. Uh, I usually cleanse my face while I'm taking a shower, but for the video purposes, I wanted to show you guys. Um, not in the shower, so I would be naked. <laughs> but anyways, um, this is a full body brush. So if you have acne on your uh, body, back acne, your arms, or even if you don't have acne and you just wanna get a good cleanse and exfoliation on the body, you would use this brush. Um, I think they said that there is also good to use this brush if you go tanning, so you would, use this brush before you go tanning, I guess, to remove all the excess dead skin cells. And last but not least is the pumice stone attachment. And the pumice stone attachment is um, used to uh, soften any uh, rough skin that you may have. So such as like your elbows, knees, heels, feet, 
things like that that are kind of sometimes can get a little rough and you want to soften up this is what you would use the pumice stone for so it comes with those four attachments um like i said this is a shower um you you're supposed to use it in the shower um but it is water resistant so that you can use it in the shower and it's cordless so that you can use it in the shower all you have to do is purchase four AA batteries for your device and it will last you months before you have to replace the batteries so in the event that you want to try this device um and all of these uh, attachments that it comes with you can use my code casey and you can go to their website www.duval.co and you can look up the radiant spin care system or they also have other options as well so just browse around look around take your pick and then um you can use my code casey at the end of checkout and it will give you 70 percent off of your entire purchase so this radius uh radiance um spin care system sorry y'all talking fast honey um <laughs> it retails for 95 dollars. so if you use my 70 percent off code it will retail you 28.50 so y'all that's a steal so now let's get right into my skincare routine okay okay so first what i like to do is wash my hands Normally, I would be in the shower, so I would have already um, washed my hands in the shower uh, with my entire body. But I'm going to wash my hands first. And then I'm going to turn on some lukewarm water. Because I want to kind of open up my pores. Um, I do have a steamer, um, like a steamer that can steam into my face. So that it can open up my pores for me but normally i'm in the shower so the shower the steam of the shower opens my pores up for me i don't feel like pulling out the steamer just yet but for right now i'm just going to use lukewarm water not scorching hot because you don't want to cause any harm to your face so okay so my water is now lukewarm so i'm just gonna put the water on my face now guys if i look forward it's because i'm looking in the mirror okay so yeah i just want to get my face wet so what i've been using um is the pan oxal and it is the acne foaming foaming wash i do have oily skin i have oily acne prone skin so this legit has been doing wonders for me I go pick it up at Target, but I have seen it at other drugstores. But I will link everything that I use in uh, the description box down below. But this is a deep cleansing wash, and it has um, the maximum strength of benzoyl peroxide, which is the 10%. So that's what I use. And I'm telling y'all, this is basically what worked wonders on my face and got rid of, rid of all of my acne. So, I'm going to go in with my exfoliating brush first, and I'm going to wet it a little bit, just like this, and then I'm going to put my wash on here. So, I'm just going to go ahead and turn it on and get to working. So, you see it spinning, and I'm just going to go in circular motions with it. y'all it honestly feels so good to me I almost feel like a massage on the face <laughs> here's a crucial step I take paper towels and I pat my face dry now sometimes I take paper towels sometimes I use white um, I only will use a white uh, drying tile and it's only used for your face because you do not want to like cross contaminate with other bacteria that you know you just clean your face you don't want other bacteria on your on your freshly washed face so 
I just pat it dry with the paper towel. That's honestly the safest, <laughs> safest way to dry off your face. So, now um, I am going to actually um, deep, what am I trying to say? Do a, a detox mask on my face. And this is actually one of my, absolutely one of my favorite masks. And I've tried a few. I even tried the benzol, wait, the benzol clay? The ben, I, I can't remember the actual name. But y'all know that clay that everybody swears by or I don't know. I tried that. I used that the whole time like when my face was like that. That stuff did not work. I feel like it kind of, it actually aggravated it a little bit more um but what has worked for me is the teamy detox green tea mask right here i'll link it in the description box as well i did not order this from the teamy website i actually found it at my local target so that was cool so i didn't have to pay for shipping or anything like that but um i have like a little mask uh applicator I got it from my local beauty supply store. But you only need like a thin layer of this mask. You do not need a lot. So I'm just going to go on ahead and put it on my skin. And you guys can just watch me. Okay, so now I'm going to allow the skincare mask to dry up like it kind of is down here. Um, it'll harden and uh, that'll usually take like 10 to 15 minutes and then I'll come back and rinse it off with you guys. Okay, so I'm back. Um, as you can see, the face mask is completely dry and hardened all over. I could touch it. There's nothing on my hands. So I'm just going to go ahead and rinse this off of my face. All right, so once again, I'm gonna go in with a paper towel and dry my face off. Okay, so once all of the cleansing is done, the um, detox mask is rinsed off. Next, I like to go in with my 10% benzoyl peroxide gel and it's an acne medication that is sold over the counter. Um, I particularly get the Up and Up brand, which is the Target brand. Um, it'll be linked in the description box as well. But they do sell other brands. There are other brands that sell them. Just make sure that it's 100% been 10%. Sorry, let me not confuse you. Make sure it is 10% benzoyl peroxide only in the ingredient list. Um, nothing else. Just pure benzoyl 10% peroxide and that is the maximum strength I believe that can be sold over the counter um and it works wonders one thing I will say when using benzoyl peroxide which the acne wash also has benzoyl peroxide in it um is to try to I mean how do I put this it will um, bleach like your towels if they aren't white and it will bleach your sheets. Anything that you lay your face on. Um, benzoyl peroxide tends to do that. So like I only know this because <laughs> I had to look it up after randomly my, we have gray sheets. My gray sheet pillow, the pillowcase um, started to get like it looked like little bleach stains, but it was because of my face products. So the best thing to do just to save you some inconvenience is get you a white sheet set. You won't have to worry about it and use white towels so that it doesn't bleach your good towels. Okay. Anyway, so after I put that all over my face, also a tip about benzoyl peroxide, it will dry your face out, but that is because um, it's drying the acne out. 
um it doesn't per se dry my face out to like where it's like oh my god like this unbearable or anything like that um it does tell you to work your way up with the benzoyl peroxide don't go in full force using it two to three times a day use it once a day and then once you feel like your skin is you know getting used to it then go try, then try using it twice a day um my skin is used to it now so you know i, I use it morning and night um but for a beginner i say use a gentle a gentle uh face wash first like in the morning and then use this face wash in the um at night time anyway so like i said it does dry your skin out like it's not oily at all right now so i do um uh, put the moisture back into my skin so i'm gonna go in with this rose hip balancing facial oil and i actually got it from marshall so i'm not even sure if i'll ever be able to find this again if not i do have the bottle so maybe i could find it on amazon but i actually absolutely love this oil and it is a rose hip fruit oil and vitamin e and what it's supposed to do is deliver powerful daily hydration to help balance revive and rejuvenate the skin which is exactly what we need so what i do is i take the droplet and i drop about this much into my palms i don't know if you guys can see that right here and oh, <laughs> i rub it together and then i'll put it all over my face and i'll put it on my neck as well And this oil, one thing about this is why I like this oil, it does not make you feel oily. And it does not even make you look oily. Like, it legit, as soon as you put it on your face, makes your skin just feel moisturized. So, after that, I do go in with an actual moisturizer, which is the Cetaphil Moisturizing Cream. And it's, it's the one that says Body. And says for very dry sensitive skin. I do have sensitive skin. Um, and because I used to benzoyl peroxide. Um, I would consider it sometimes dry after I wash my face obviously. Um, for some reason this the body one works better for me. Because the one that's specifically for the face makes me oily. Um, so I use this much. And then I rub it together. And I'll put it all over my face once again and my neck. And then that is the end of my nighttime skin routine. Um, if it is the morning, oh, quick, this quick thing sorry <laughs> i do go in with a, a chapstick as well this one is the vaseline one i normally go in with my birds bees but this is what's accessible right now so now everything's all moisturized and whatnot but in the morning time um to end off my skincare routine i do add a um i'm trying to say <laughs> i do add a sunscreen and i use the neutrogena clear face breakout free oil free sunscreen with the spf of 55 and it's the one that says won't cause breakouts in ultra light so and it's water resistant for 18 i mean for 80 minutes so this is the one that i use it works well for me um if you are of darker skin complexion i do recommend you use the black girl sunscreen but yeah um when I do get breakouts, my breakouts are usually underneath the skin. Um, so I have been using these um, Peach Slices Deep Blemish Micro Darts. And when I tell you these things freaking work wonders, you put it over, you put it on at night after you do your skincare routine and you wake up in the morning and when I tell you, the bump that's like under the skin that usually don't ever come to a head. It's just a stupid bump. That mug will be 
to a head the next morning. I kid you not. It's like you can see it. It's like a little. How do I say this? I don't know if you guys have ever seen it. Ever seen them. But they're just little dots like this. And you legit just stick the dot on top of the bump. And when you wake up in the morning, you're going to see like an accumulation of white stuff. Like it's going to look a little cloudy within the bump. Like underneath this thing. When you take that thing off, it's going to be cloudy because it didn't gather all the ickiness into one little thing. And it's a head now. Y'all, I swear. I swear about these. These work wonders. But yeah, so thank you for watching my skincare routine. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And hit that notification bell. Right beside the subscribe button so you're notified whenever I upload. Make sure to go to Duval.co's website and use my um, discount code for 70% off, which is Casey in all caps. Um, and you'll get 70% off of your entire purchase. Um, and all of the links of everything that I showed you today will be in the description box down below in case you need a little assistance and stuff like that. So just go. Don't forget to check out the description box. Um, and I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.